Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and you're watching another webguy YouTube channel and in this video we are going to talk about JavaScript data types. So without wasting any time, let's get started. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of our videos. The concept of data types is very important in programming. To be able to operate on variables, it is very important to know something about their type. The data types are what determine the amount of memory allocated to save a value. The type of the variable also determines the operations and the methods allowed to be performed on it. For example, if it is a number, we can either add, subtract, multiply or divide. If it is a word or a string, we can probably join them and so on. So let's see these data types one by one. The first one is number. The number type represents both integer and floating point numbers or the number with decimals. Besides all the regular numbers, there are also some special numeric values which belong to the number data type. For example, we have infinity, minus infinity and NAN which stands for not a number. The infinity and the minus infinity represents the mathematical infinity. It is a special value that is greater than any number. We can get this number when we divide something by zero. The NAN or not a number represents a computational error. It is a result of an incorrect or undefined mathematical operation. For example, if we try to multiply or divide a string by a number, we will get NAN. We can safely perform any mathematical operation on the number data type. Next we have the strings data type. We have already worked on the string data type in our previous video. Now let's see this in detail. A string in JavaScript is a series of characters and it is surrounded by quotes. In JavaScript, we have three types of quotes. The double quotes, single quotes or the backticks. Double quotes and single quotes are essentially the same and there is no practical difference between them. However, the backticks are extended functionality quotes. That means they allow us to embed variables and expressions into string by wrapping them in dollar and curly brackets. Remember that this can be done only with backticks. The single quote and the double quote do not allow the embedding functionality. We will work a lot with the strings data type throughout this course. Next we have the boolean data type. A boolean type has only two values, true and false. This type is commonly used to store yes and no values. True means yes and false means no or incorrect. It is very straightforward and you can see some examples on the screen. Next we have the null value. The special null value forms a separate type of its own which means nothing empty or value unknown. In case you are coming from some other programming language, just note that null is not a reference to some non-existing object or a null pointer. It is actually an independent data type with empty value. Similar to the null value, we have another special value that is undefined. The meaning of undefined is value is not assigned. If a variable is declared but not assigned, then its value is undefined. Undefined and null are equal in value but are different in type. The difference between them is we use the null to assign an empty or unknown value to a variable and we use undefined for checks like seeing if the variable has been assigned or not. These five data types are known as primitive types in JavaScript. They are called primitive because their values can contain only a single thing like only a number or only a string or only a boolean or something like that. Actually in JavaScript we have 6 primitive types. The 6th one is symbols and it is very rarely used and we will study that in some later video. Now apart from these 6 primitive types, 
we also have a very important complex data type that is known as the object data type. For practical purposes while making websites, we need variables which can be used to store collections of data and more complex entities. In that case, we use the object data type. The objects are created with curly braces and inside those curly braces, there goes a list of properties. The object properties are written as name value pairs separated by commas. For example, here we have created an object person which has four properties, first name, last name, age and eye color. Again, we are going to work a lot with objects throughout this course. Next, we have the type of operator. The type of operator can be used to find the type of a JavaScript variable. You can see some examples on the screen. Now one thing to note here is, if you try to find out the type of null, you will get an object. This is a bug in JavaScript. The type of operator when operated with null should give us null as output. However, it gives object which is not true. So finally just to recapitulate, we learned 7 data types out of which 6 were the primitive types which are numbers, strings, boolean, null, undefined and symbols. And we have one complex type that is the object data type. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you learned something. If you are new here, consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.